people who were enslaved were held in this cell until it was time for them to be shipped out. Enslaved is a new documentary series on the history of the transatlantic slave trade. This fake currency was created to be used in Africa to buy a human being. The director of the series was shocked at the sheer scale of it all. I didn't know we were talking about 400 years of trafficking in Africans. I didn't know that we're talking about 12 million Africans trafficked to buy a human Enslaved is part of a new surge in interest, from Janelle Monet's Antebellum. We are the future. To the new series, The Good Lord Bird. I am here to defeat slavery. And the upcoming series, The Underground Railroad, chattel slavery is in the spotlight. And when that happens, Canada tends to play the hero, such as Brad Pitt as the Canadian in 12 Years a Slave. We've enshrined 30 years and painted ourselves as only good abolitionists who saved black Americans. And we've totally obliterated, ignored, and tried to erase 200 years when we were actually also slaving. People carrying their kids. Indeed, Enslaved follows the Underground Railroad onto the water, where they make the first positive identification of a boat that ferried enslaved people to Canada. It was where people went from being objects in the United States to, to free people in Canada. But when it comes to Canada's own history of slavery... Have you ever seen any media about that? We're talking about black slaves? Yeah. I really didn't know. I thought it was the place of uh, sanctuary, salvation. You won't find it in school or on the screen. Now students like Tanisha are working to change that. Here is where producers and historians agree. The roots of racism began on the boats and stretches all the way to the death of George Floyd. They think it's a 21st century or 20th century anomaly, and it's not. When I see that, I see slavery. A way to reckon with the past for a better path forward. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.